What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in this video we're covering 10 secret tips and tricks you may not know about in Red Dead Online. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. Let's go for 3,000 likes on this video because the last secret tips and tricks we did got over 130,000 views. Thank you guys. Seriously, dude, that's that's thank you so much for that. That's awesome. And the support was phenomenal. So let's do it again. Show that love in this video and I promise you I'll keep bringing those tips and tricks you don't know about. Now, the first one that we're gonna be jumping into is one that I just recently found out about because I've been having a lot of problems, dudes. I've been having a lot of problems with my horse. My horse, I tweeted about the other day, is always dead. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he has a girlfriend and she's killing him or random players in the lobby are killing my horse. But anytime I go to whistle for him, he never comes. I think he hates me, even though we have like the best level four bonding. I don't know what's going on there, but He's always dead. It always says, your horse is dead. You need to go to a stable to revive. But no, no more going to stables. I'm sick of it. From now on, dudes, all you gotta do is press left on your D-pad. Simply go to the stable section, go to owned, go to owned horses, and then manage those bad boys. Manage them and revive the one or heal the one that's down. It's gonna cost you about four bucks or cheaper depending on the quality of the horse. The more expensive the horse is, the more expensive the heal is. Just remember that. Now. When I found this out, dudes, I my life was changed. I was so happy. Hopefully, this makes your life a little bit easier with your horse because, dudes, I was having some serious issues with my stupid horse. It's been bad. Number two is coming in with buying ammo. Now, buying ammo can get a little costly, but you never really have to go to a gun store ever again. That's right. There's a method in a way where you can never, ever have to step foot into a gun store. Holding left on your D-pad opens up a menu. Now, this menu is more so like a book and the book is pretty much everything and anything the general store sells and gun store that's right dudes this book has everything you need now all these things will be delivered to your mailbox so the closest mailbox to you so if you're in a town that doesn't have a gunsmith but it has a mailbox that's how you can get some ammo now let's say you know you don't want to go to a mailbox you don't want to go to a gunsmith garrett how else can i get ammo well mother truckers i got that answer for you too all you gotta do is press start, go to online, go to any of the series events, large or non-large. I guess maybe just only do it in large. It's your, at large is the best. Because if you don't do it in large, you're possible like it's possible to get the battle royale, and then you can't get max ammo. So only do it in the large series event. Go down to I think it's outfit or ammo, and you can just buy ammo. Like you could literally just buy ammo. Like all the ammo is gonna cost you like a dollar or two dollars to buy all the ammo for all your guns. You simply back out, go back to free room, voila, all the ammo, and you didn't have to go anywhere, and you spawned right back where you were before. Dude, I'm telling you, boys. I'm I'm out here getting these tips and tricks. I'm I'm thinking like, oh man, what's cool that I found out that may, people may not know? Boom, this ammo thing is not in a very obvious place. Now, before you comment like, oh, Garrett, I know all these things. It's so obvious. Hey, there's some people that aren't as smart as you are, okay? Mr. I know it all. But hopefully there's something else in this list that you don't know about. Number three is coming in with gang hideouts. Now, they will always give you the chance at gang hideouts to get treasure maps. That's right. Doing gang hideouts will give you the opportunity to get treasure maps. Now, these treasure maps will unlock not only gold, but they'll also unlock cash and you'll also get some XP. So finding treasure maps is super key and it's very, very, very easy to do because all you got to do is do the gang hideouts. Now, I think the percentage chance of you finding treasure maps at these gang hideouts has to be less than 10%. Because, dude, let me tell you, I've done a ton of gang hideouts and I have never found any treasure maps. Now, these treasure maps can be found by looting the bodies from the gang hideout. So, when you kill everybody there, better do it by yourself, by the way. Loot everybody. Just loot everybody. Once you're done, hopefully you get a treasure map. If you do, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Oh, and by the way, Forgot to tell you, uh, if you want to figure out where all the gang hideouts are, I actually have a map for you. <laughs> I'm here for you, boys, right? I'm here for you. Now, take a picture of this map so that you guys can save it on your computer or on your phone so that when you're playing, you'll be like, oh, I'm near this gang hideout. This is, this is where one spawns. So there it is right there. Take a picture of that mother trucker and throw it up on your phone or wherever you got to put it so that you will always have access to it 
Dude, I'm like, call me Uncle Gary, brothers. I'm here to help you out. Papa Gary is in town. Next up, we got abilities. Now, I covered a video yesterday about abilities, how you can get 30% more damage output in the abilities tab. Now, picking your abilities in Red Dead Online makes your character and your Red Dead Online experience different than anyone else's. From the dead eye to the passives, you can choose how you want to play your character from start to bottom. Let's say you want to go all DPS and output the most amount of damage, then you can do that. Let's say you want to be sort of tanky and you want to heal more and you want to be able to help your teammates out, you can do that. These are all options available to you and that's actually pretty cool. I never thought uh, Red Dead Online would have like abilities tab that uh, we didn't see in story. So this is like a whole new section that we don't have in story. It's pretty cool. Number five is completing challenges. Now, I know that may sound super stupid like Garrett, but completing challenges is actually one of the best ways to level in Red Dead Online if you can easily complete them. Um, if you open up your menu by pressing start, then going to, I believe, player, or no, progress, go to progress, and then go to challenges. Press start, go to progress, go to challenges, or wherever that tab is, and then you can see all these freaking things you can complete from like hunting to survival to all the crazy stuff. Everything you could possibly think of, they have a challenge for. Every time you complete one of these 10 challenges, you get about 600 XP, somewhere around there. It's pretty good money, but it's pretty good XP, not money. There's no money. There's no, don't even think about it. Number six is coming at extra horse slot in your stables. Now, this is a controversial topic because I own an extra slot in the stables, dudes. Let me tell you, I have an extra slot I got two horses, an Arabian and a race thoroughbred. <sighs> I am filled with so much regret, dudes. I get charged over a dollar fifty every single day cycle. You know how much money that is? I play about 10 hours a day. Uh, every cycle is 10 minutes. So do the math there, buds. That's that's a lot of money. I'm blowing through cash in Red Dead Online by just having a second horse. Like right now, in me doing this commentary. My Red Dead Online is open on PS4 on another monitor. I'm just losing cash. I'm just, there. oh, there's money, there it goes. I make all this money, oop, there it goes, right out the window. <sighs> the sacrifices I make, let me tell you. Number seven is coming in at sometimes smaller is better than being bigger. I don't know if that's ever been said that before, but that sounded really cool in my head and I was like trying to really gas this up and hype it up like, yeah, being small is cool, but I didn't mean to take it that direction. What I'm trying to say, dudes, when you go hunting, shoot the birds. I should have probably just said that instead of trying to make like a reference to wieners, but we've already come this, this far. Let's just let you guys know, shooting birds will make you sometimes more money than shooting bears, alligators, boars, and all the other bigger animals. Now, let's go on to number eight before this gets any more awkward. Number eight, you can load into any game mode on the map by pressing start and loading into matchmaking. Now, you can hold your, your start button, Simply just hold that options button. Well, it looks stupid for you guys because it's flipped, but hold that options button. <laughs> and if you zoom in onto the thing you want to do, let's say you want to do a large series event, you can simply zoom in onto that and start matchmaking right there from your map. But if you want to join a large series event, a race or a, a team series event, you can do that too by pressing start, then going to online and scrolling down and clicking one of those options to jump into an active game already. But I believe if you walk up to a large series post or horse racing, or you zoom in and you match make for one, you don't get placed into ones already active, but you start a new lobby. Number nine to me was pretty obvious because we do it every single day. And I'm not talking about pooping and peeing. So get that out of your mind right now. I'm talking about eating. Eating is super important in Red Dead Online and we don't, we don't take advantage of it. We don't do it enough, dudes. If you don't eat in Red Dead Online, you're not gonna die. You're not gonna die of starvation, but your character will have physical traits of starvation. That's right. You'll become underweight and you will perform worse than you do when you're full. So eating is super important. You wanna keep your stamina up. You wanna keep those skills sharp. You wanna keep your character on his toes, ready to take on any action that comes his way. Eat your food, mother truckers. I see so many of you guys that come up to me in game and your guy's huffing and puffing, looking like he has tuberculosis, like, <gasps> like you can tell, like he's just swaying, like not feeling too good. Just looks all nasty. Eat some mother trucking food, dude. It's so easy. Kill a few animals, 
Throw it on the fire. Boom. You got food for days. It's pretty easy. Just do it. I promise you won't regret it. You know what? Number 10, this tip should be like a public service announcement, dudes. I'm telling you. The last tip. I got I to gotta sit up in my chair. I got to move up for this one. This... This is a public service announcement for number 10. And I hope Rockstar makes like a whole thing about this. Do not be a dick in Red Dead Online. Like, it's that simple. Like, I have found so many a-holes in free roam that have nothing better to do with their time than to just sit on my body and camp me and just shoot me all day. Now, I don't think, like, I don't see what's fun in that. If you want to do that, go play Team Deathmatch in Red Dead Online, go play a large series event, but killing someone in free roam all day, like literally like, there was a guy, I was AFK, there was a guy that shot me for over an hour, over and over and over, and he was having the time of his life. I didn't care, because you, when you die in Red Dead Online, you don't lose anything, but it was just like, dude, come on, like, can't you just go play, like, what, what are you doing, dude? What, what's going on? My advice to you, don't be that guy or gal. No one likes that person. Like, no one's like, oh, I love the trolls in free roam. No, no one ever says that. Let's just, I think we should start like a committee where we just start not being friends with people that do that. We all take, oh, well, what if the person doesn't have any friends? Dang. My idea didn't really work. But regardless, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like. Let's go for 3,000 likes on this video. Hopefully over 100,000 likes. And I started to realize that my eyes are really small in this video like i can see my eyes right now i'll tell you what dudes let me know a secret i haven't slept in like 32 hours so that's probably why my eyes look like this i could go to sleep but you know pff, the videos ain't gonna make themselves brothers we got secrets tips and tricks guides easter eggs and more i gotta upload what, you, what i gotta work i gotta work so if you guys enjoy the video show that love i will see you guys when is this video going up? Later on today with a second upload, the secret gold bar location. It's been hard, dudes. Let me tell you. I've been doing three videos a day for the last like month and a half. It's been... I do four videos a day. Three videos on my main... Three videos on this channel and one video on my Fortnite channel. Sometimes two videos on my Fortnite channel and live streams. Dude, I, I, I think I work like 18 hours a day. I don't even know if that's healthy. Is that healthy? Let me know in the comment section. Am I going to die? I hope not. See you guys soon. Later, guys. Bye.